Hey, welcome to Cox Family Travels. We are currently at Magnolia Park in Apopka, Florida, but this review is about Salt Springs Forestry... No, Recreation Area. Salt Springs Recreation Area. In the Ocala National Forest. In the Ocala National Forest. So in, in It's actually called Fort McCoy, but right. Salt Springs is also the town. I don't yeah. know. It's... Yeah. For all intents and purposes, Salt Springs, Florida. Right. And it's out in the middle of nowhere. The, yes. the park is run by a private company. Right. Called American Leisure land, or land something. And le- American Land Leisure. Yeah. Um, so, okay. So, about the park. We stayed there for... Oh, gosh. Like... We were in two different sites. Yeah. And it was like... I think we stayed four nights on the first site. And then another three. Right? And another three. Yeah, yeah. So, it was a total of a week. And... Um, so it was a mixed bag. Is yeah, like I feel like it had some really good points mm-hmm. and some like not so good points. Yeah. So, the, so let's start with the campground right. itself. Mm-hmm. Okay. So mm-hmm. of course, well, reservations were easy. They were online mm-hmm. um, for that first four days that we were there. Right. The second three, when we had to move, we got a walk-up site. Uh, like the last day of our uh, reserved time. I went to the office first thing and got a walk-up site. I was the third person in line, even though I was there right when they opened, and I think there were seven walk-up sites mm-hmm. available. So if you're going to do a walk-up site, you have to get there right when they open in order to do it. And so we were able to do that and mm-hmm. switch over. So all of that was, was easy. Check-in was easy and all that. Mm-hmm. The campground itself and how it's set up. Yeah, it's all... No privacy, basically. Right. I would say none of the sites are private. It's There are some trees, but some sites are out in the middle of the blazing sun, yeah. which we were on our first site. Mm-hmm. And uh, it, they're just one after the other yeah. after the other. It's 155, I think, sites. I think 160 something, oh, okay. including the cr- oh, primitive ones. Yeah, so, yeah, there is a primitive campground area, but... Uh, yeah, and that's just not our cup of tea, <laughs> like, yeah. to, to have people right, you know, right next to each other. We like state parks, which are, you know, more yeah. private and everything, or, or, or county parks, too. But, yeah, so a lot, I mean, that was probably the biggest negative mm-hmm. to me. There was more noise. It wasn't super loud, mm-hmm. but, like, at night, there were dogs barking because some people had a lot. I mean, there was one uh, person that had, like, I'm talking, I would say more than 10 dogs. I didn't count yeah. them all, but... They were probably a campground host. <laughs> but, uh, so, on, and, and during the week, it was quieter. Yeah. On the weekend, it got mm-hmm. full. Mm-hmm. And you could not see past the row that was across right. from you because it was just camper, yeah. camper, camper, oh. camper, camper. Yeah. And it's kind of tight. Yeah. Uh, uh-huh. The yeah. road is narrow. Yeah. And so, one thing that happened with us was, in order to get our car in there with our camper even though it's full hookups our sewer hose didn't reach so for all intents and purposes we didn't have Mm -hmm. full hookups even though we kind of did on the second site right the first one we did fit yeah right yeah and another thing was because it gets so tight actually in our first one there was some guy trying to pull in and it was scary i thought he was gonna he came within our car it was like hitting our oh uh, and then so the next time we really wanted to make sure we pulled back further Mm -hmm. because we knew a lot more people were going to be there and again it was tight and people were you know packing up and and everything to Mm -hmm. to pull into theirs and so i would i would recommend go ahead and just do the extra parking like next time if we go there i would just put our vehicle in the extra parking so that you can still do your sewer hookup things and and not have to have a heart attack every time somebody's parking in your spot yeah, and to go back just briefly to the trees, she said there were some trees, mm-hmm. and there were, I think, a lot of trees, mm-hmm. but all of them were tall uh, pine trees or oak trees. Big live oaks, so, beautiful. Yeah, beautiful, but they provide no privacy right. sight to sight. Right. So even if you had three trees in between you, there was no ground cover. Mm-hmm. It was all just yeah. grass. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, paved sites, though, yeah. which was nice. Really good road conditions overall. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, there was a basketball court mm-hmm, there, mm-hmm. several dumpsters yeah, uh, down at the end that of the was lines. Convenient. Yeah. Um, bathrooms were nice and fairly new. Yeah, uh, they were think, super clean in, in ours. I maybe remember. they were like 20 years old, but they were. Yeah, nice they enough. felt they felt yeah really nice. Yeah, no uh, no AT and T cell signal oh. there to speak of at all. Uh-uh. There was Wi Fi, but it was terrible. It was, yeah, don't like when you see the thing that says Wi Fi available. Don't Forget depend it. on it. It's like. Even, I mean, 
on the weekend it was completely useless. <laughs> like yeah. it, you couldn't do anything. But then uh, through the week, even even though there's nobody else there or mm-hmm. very few people, it still didn't really work. So yeah. and don't. it seemed like it seemed like it would shut down and then come back on and then yeah. turn off, come back on. Very very spotty. But you sorry. Yeah, yeah. but I just I had to do work, so I just found uh, we use a, an app called Open Signal. Open Signal. And uh, it points you to where there are towers. So mm-hmm. I just found one on the map. I drove that direction. And uh, 10 minutes down the road, I found two two to three bars of mm-hmm. 4G LTE on the AT&T network. And uh, that was pretty fast. So, yeah. And yeah. I had a nice view of uh, the lake while my videos uploaded. Yeah. And then also, one thing we noticed is, uh, you know, people uh, are, well, because there are more people there, it seems like more people are kind of like, talking to you and stuff and we're introverts so yeah. like in this in state parks no one talks to each other and I mean it's just kind of like I mean people are friendly and they'll say hi mm-hmm. but they don't like start conversations with you and stuff and uh and that was something that we noticed more of more people just talking a lot mm-hmm. to you so you know something to be aware of if of you're an proximity. introvert right yeah because you are you're like right up mm-hmm. next to people yeah um uh but, there was no there were no laundry facilities at the campground, right. uh, but there was a laundromat across the street, across the highway outside of the park, uh, which was, <laughs> I mean, so it, horrible. It, it, I mean, it worked to get our clothes clean, but the, the air conditioner was broke, yeah. was broken, so it was hot in there, uh-huh. the machines were old, um, the dryer, you could see flames in the back of it, I know that, you know, it was a gas dryer, so obviously flames are what heat the thing, but it looked like your kid could just go back there and just stick their hand. <laughs> yeah. In the back of the machine, just burn up. <laughs> or our clothes, like all of our yeah. clothes were in there, and it was just like, what if it just burst into flames? Right. But so even though it worked and it was inexpensive, yeah, it was not yeah. not. I next time I won't. I, I'll just do laundry ahead of time, and then after we leave up out of there, if we go back again, yeah. they did have a drop off service, but it was only like one day <laughs> yeah, a week for so two right. hours. So you had to be there to do that then. Yeah, but. there was no, I guess no one mans it yeah, during the week. Yeah, except for those two hours. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, but, so that was our overall impressions of the campground right. and what we thought there. Yeah, there was, yeah. The, the park itself, of course, is at Salt Springs, mm-hmm. and so that was beautiful. Gorgeous. But again, on the weekends, all the these boats from not on the campground mm-hmm. come in and they are they're on the border like they're they've got like a, a line mm-hmm. and so the those boaters really can't come into the park but they sit there and they play very loud music and i mean some of the music was really good but just beware it was not family mm-hmm. friendly music all the time and um there was dancing on the boats i don't know if you were there, there yeah. that day but um i had a deer fly by and that was one thing the bugs were mm-hmm. pretty bad. I mean, you're in the middle of the Ocala National Forest, and like it was deer fly season, and I got bit and I was, was swollen. So that was another reason mm-hmm. that maybe my, my impressions of yeah. the park were not that great. But um, so, so if you're going to go down to the water, go in the morning. Yes. Before people are allowed to come in day mm-hmm. use, or go at night after it's closed. Yeah. Um, because especially during the summer, the sun is up at you know at six thirty, yeah. and then it's down at eight thirty. Yeah. The parks don't open until eight so mm-hmm. you've got a good hour down there that you can swim yeah uh, and watch the blue crabs in the water yeah the blue crabs that was neat Just seeing all the fish and everything that was really neat mm-hmm. um but um yeah it was overall like i just i yeah. don't i don't really want to go back yeah we probably won't go back unless we're needing a place on yeah. the way up north which i don't think we will because it's out in the middle of nothing yeah. mm-hmm. we wouldn't be going that direction another thing was like um the the staff like would drive the wrong way down the one way roads. Mm-hmm. I going mean, too it, fast. going way too fast, and that was pretty annoying because it's like you know the, our kids are out here, and um, that mm-hmm. was that was one thing. And you know there were there were some employees there that were n- not that helpful. Others were super nice. Mm-hmm. It was, again, it was just a mixed bag. Yeah. Yeah, and just yeah, yeah. left so, left us underwhelmed. I think. Right. But mostly because of being you know introverted and stuff it mm-hmm. was just kind of like not the not our thing but, but a, a good positive point if you are there uh for whatever reason uh, and you want a place to eat uh we had breakfast across mm-hmm. the road mm-hmm. at the square meal, square meal mm-hmm. restaurant which has yeah. been there for a long time and mm-hmm. it's the only place there basically yeah. um but 
the breakfast was really, really good mm-hmm. and inexpensive. Yeah, it was. All five of us ate for $40, I mm-hmm. think. A good, good sized mm-hmm. breakfast. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, have you been to Salt Springs before? Let us know what you thought about mm-hmm. it uh, mm-hmm. or any other uh, recreation sites right. around the U.S. So, those right. nationally or federally owned um, properties that are either run by the government or run by a private company Mm -hmm. let us know uh, what details you have about it Mm -hmm. and uh, maybe we'll find it on our way around the country Mm -hmm. anything else to add i don't think so all right well thank you for joining us on this review and we'll see you next time